Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. I've been busy over the weekend. I've been doing some exploring and I've figured a few things out and I've got some tips. So let's start with the tips. I suppose the oldest one which is relevant was the one from Crater Aid. And what he says is I can actually put the heater down but I have to put it down first. The fuel into the heater first. So let's just try that and see if that actually works. There's, a, there's nothing in this except for a bit of lava, so I can quite happily break that. And I do believe it was so, just to demonstrate it. I'm too close, of course. Let's try that. So if we put some fuel into this first, let's take some coal out of here like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gold into the into this, because I probably want to make a cast at some stage and I've got a reasonable amount of gold at the moment I was sieving I've uh, been busy sieving as you can see I've got 60 diamonds so I did quite a reasonable amount of sieving and gold was getting I was got a little bit of gold from zombie pigmen and a little bit of gold from th this and that so I put those into there now you see it's got the flames so it's now working as it should have done in the beginning so it'll take a while of course it's a slower than lava so I'll leave that to do its business and we'll fix that later on so thank you very much creator aid and the next tip i was got from a uh, psycho nightmare mangle and what he says i can make living wood out of petals and mushrooms so i've been on an explore and if you observed at the end of the last video i was just going up by the uh, and i saw some i was by the fortress and and i saw some red mushrooms so what and so i've collected some of those and I've collected some, what else did I need to do? I need to dig and sieve lots of soul sand to get lots of petals. And I think it's in here actually. So I've got eight mushrooms, eight red mushrooms and eight brown mushrooms. And I found the brown mushrooms as well on another exploration trip. What I don't know is that you can actually give me an opinion. I don't record the exploration trips, mostly because I tend to end up dying. <laughs> But also because it's a little bit dull just wandering around trying to find things. But if you want me to, I will happily do so. So let me know. So what else we needed is some petals. And I've been sieving some <clears throat> soul sand to get some petals. Now, I didn't expect that to actually work. Because I need four white mystical petal petals like this. Um, I didn't expect it to work. Because the Britannia stuff, I haven't got the levels for yet. So if we look at the... Um, living wood where is it living wood here Britannia so let's get that out of here and click the rest click the recipes for that so this is the recipe we can do so as long as I've got some planks in my thing I'm missing planks like that and if I look at these oh, actually it's not showing me on here yet maybe I have to do it into the actual when it's actually in the crafting so let's get some wood out of no shortage of wood that's for certain I'll be in there as you can see, no shortage of wood, no shortage of sticks. Let's take that like that. That's getting, that's getting filled up all the time. In fact, no shortage of cobblestone either, for that matter. So take out four of those. So let's craft that living wood. And now you can see if I press, no, it's still not showing me. Okay, and maybe I thought it was. Let's have a look for petal as well. Um, where is it now? Petalapotech. That's still not showing me. Why is it not showing me the, the requirements? Okay, well, I upgrade. I've updated and I'm sure the requirements have changed. So let's take that out. So we now have our first piece of living wood. And with that, what, what are the uses of that? We can actually make planks, which I think is what we need to do. And we also need to make sticks if we can. I don't know. Okay, the recipe's not like that. Now we needed, we needed some planks we need some slabs to make some uh, a crucible i'm not sure exactly what the priority is yet so i'm going to leave it like that for the time being actually only use two mushrooms okay that's fair enough yes is that right i'm just thinking in my head i thought it was four of each anyway that aside so now i've got my living wood and there's a few recipes we needed to do with that one and the next tip is the one from Zero Life. It says, once I've got a bone, I can make it the saw. And with the saw, I can then make the trap. So 
um, some traps from Pam's Harvest Crest. And then I get lots more bones. And I guess we're going to get feathers. Because I was trying to do feathers. And I'll show you what I did to feathers. I think I've got some seeds in here. I've got some chicken bait seeds. And the chicken bait seeds is just simply two seeds put together like this. Yeah. And you get those. And also, I discovered I had to put a torch here to give this enough light and they will actually grow. So you can see now the growth of this is 14%. And the tank has to be full for this to become um, hydrated. So that was that one. So I built another tank, put it outside. I haven't been out for a little bit of time. Let's just check around if there's anything nasty around. It's not too bad. And I planted, I put those, um, there's another earth down here in heart. And, and what did I do with it? I tilled it with a hoe. So that was fine. So I've got some nice tilled stuff here. And then I get these. And these are actually a good food supply. So if I right click this, I should get these. I'm going to right click it with the zombie pigment in the way. Because it might be deadly. And that works fine. And these you can then cook. So the uses of these, we'll have a look when we go back inside again. This that one. Oops, I see something coming at me. My favourite mob, silent. Not very strong, but very annoying. <laughs> Good. So I did carrots as well. And I've got a water source here. And I thought, okay, let's try putting the seeds down. So I put the seeds down like that. There's no water in this area. So it tells me I've got no water in this area. I can hear I can hear what's that? Something I don't want to see. I wonder where he is. And in here I planted some mushrooms. So the mushrooms I found I planted those and so got some more mushrooms growing. So they'll carry on growing. As long as it's dark enough, which I think it is. So let's go back inside reasonably quickly. Because I think that uh, blazing juggernaut won't be too far away. And I still can't defeat blazing juggernauts except for the spikes. They can do a good job on him. Now this, I've got a story about getting the bone. The bone was actually good fun to get. This is the bone here. So I'll take that out of the in, out and get it in ready for the doing of what we got to do with the bones. Now the first thing we'll do, we'll, I think, we'll make the cauldron first of all because I think that's the important one. So let's have a look. I'm sure these used to tell me what they had requirements on them. I don't see the requirements at the moment. I'm sure all the Britannia stuff had requirements in it, and it was quite high. Hmm. Never mind. And I don't think it's dis I don't think the requirements have disappeared. Let's have a look. Have I got requirement? Oh, it's not showing me requirements on any of these. Oh, we get it. There we are. We get it on some of these hammers here. I'm certain we had requirements on our oh, here's sulphur. Yes. Put the sulphur away, I don't need that. So cauldron, let's get undo the cauldron. Because we need the cauldron. This one. The better with mods cauldron. That's where we need the bowl. And we need some copper ingots, which is one of the reasons I was sieving, and a bucket of water. Now, let's have a look at here. So we've got 17 copper ingots. We'll take those three plus other, plus another four, four, I think it is, we need. These ones were basically, we made, I made those in the um, in the melter. And the others I actually did from basically sieving and, and cooking in the nether furnace. So a bucket of water. Let's have a look. Have I got a bucket of water? About I have got one somewhere, I'm sure. Well, it's actually a bucket of water, just a bucket. I'm not sure at the moment. Let's just get out. Oh, look, that's a bucket. <laughs> In my inventory the whole time. Blind as a bat. So we need some cactus. Ah, yes, and I've got another trick for cactus as well. So we need eight of these. Like that. So what I'll do is I'll just turn those into juice. And then we'll put those around the bucket. We get that bucket of water so we should be able to make the cauldron and indeed we can shift click it in fantastic and we get our bucket back of course which is great now the trick i just thought of figured out with this is actually really easy all you need to do is get a stick it doesn't actually matter with it a stick's good because it's got it's got no um durability and i just come along here and make sure that i've got i've got the um all miners set to none shape none 
and then simply just hold down the ore miner and I just do the whole lot and it all goes down in one go so I should have nine because none of them got broken or lost on the other bits which plant those up again so that's how I discovered how you can do that makes it life a lot easier by the way sorry there's a lot of noise just <laughs> something screaming I think that's actually a ghast yeah, it sounds like a gas, and the gas has probably died over here somewhere. They tend to die on the cactus. Well, maybe not. Where's that thing? Let's just get rid of this while I'm actually... While I'm doing this, let's just harvest these. So I've got 24. Which is right as well, that's 18 plus 6, I think. Like that. I don't know what this thing's going to do yet. Oops, I heard that one. Oh, and I replaced some of the, the, wood for, the wood for stone slabs because they were getting beaten up as well. So we got lots more cactus, which is great. Right, the cauldron. Now, I've got enough requirements for the cauldron, good. I'm not sure if I can just put it down any, I've forgotten about the cauldron to be dead honest with. Let's put it down here. I could probably shift it onto the top of that. I think it might need fire underneath it. Or maybe not, we'll just see. Anyway, with the cauldron, what do we need to do? We needed to put some bark. So bark, we needed a tool for, and I think the tool we needed the knife, don't we? In fact, the knife will probably be on there with some wood. I've got plenty of wood. I'm going to look where the knife is. This is probably my golden bag of holding. Indeed it is. I'm not sure it's a knife or the saw I need. We'll find out in a second. I can look it up. Or I can just try it. We'll just try it. Yeah. And we need at least three barks for each piece of leather. So that'll do. I think it's three. We'll do six just in case I got that wrong. Like that. And then we can put those two in the cauldron. And I've got a feeling the cauldron needs fire underneath it. But So we need that plus the leather, the scoured leather. Where has it gone to? I'm not sure which chest I'm keeping things in at the moment. This gets a bit awkward. Nope, not there. Oh, here looks scoured leather. Whoa. Yeah, I think it needs fire, and I'm not exactly sure what for heat we need. I think it might be just netherrack. Tell you what. I'll come back in a second. Yes, it needs fire, so let's get some fire, and I can do that easily. Well, I can make us... I mean, hopefully we can make a flint and steel. Let's do that. Or we could put a bowl of... I don't know whether it'll work under lava. We could try it. Let's just dig down one block here. Because we can do that. If I can get to it, of course. Which I can't in this case. Right now I can pick it up. Let's try some... Let's try lava in here, first of all. It might need to be directly on top of the lava. I'm not 100% sure about that either. Let's get the lava. Let, chalice, let's put that into... Deposit mode and put that in there. See if that actually works. No, it doesn't. Okay, let's shift that. Right click that again and pick it up. And let's go and get some nether rack. There's no shortage of nether rack. That's for certain. In fact, I want a flint and steel. Let's see if I can make a flint and steel. Might not be able to actually. I'll check the recipe first. Oh yeah, we can do that. Oh, a six attack. <laughs> Six attack, okay. Let's have a look. Have we got a six attack? Five attack. Oh, we need six more. Okay, we need three more points to get six attack. So I can't do it that way. So therefore, I'm going to have to try and put it down on some fire that we've already got. And hopefully we don't get... Let's get the stuff out of there just in case. After having done all that work, I don't want to lose the bits and pieces I've just made, do I? Right, like that. And you'll see I've put a dry a tool rack up, an item rack up there to hold the, the frames as well. Oh, not good, look. 
<laughs> we have a blaze who's just shooting at me maybe I have to attack the blaze maybe we do some cook some stuff in here let's see what we we'll attack what wonder what we can cook to actually make some food I'll tell you what we can cook it gives us quite a lot of XP it's actually uh, silkworms and I've got loads of those around let's take a stack of those <laughs> let's not take a stack of those let's put that into there and then take a stack of those Right, while those are cooking, let me explain the story of the bone. Now, I'll go into a little, I'll just go into a little bit of a, a time lapse here now. Well, not a time lapse, I'll just do a, a still image. I've got a still image. Oops. And in this image, what you can see is the, um, a golden magical skeleton, and he's got trapped in the um cactus and he was there for quite a long time maybe one or two minutes i'm not sure what until a tree grew and then when the tree grew he couldn't see me anymore so i had to go back downstairs and um attract him and eventually i got him back onto the spikes when i got him onto the spikes then um what i could do i could actually sort of uh, kill him i had to hide behind a pillar while I, while he was shooting arrows at me so that was a bit of a little bit of excitement. In fact, the skeleton chased me all the way from um, the fortress. So there we are. Right. So let's have a look. What else can we do now? I need the leather, don't I? So I really do need to get rid of this. But unfortunately, with that blaze being in the way, it might be off a bit difficult. It seems to have disappeared. Why? Right, he's over there. Let's go and uh, at, nah. I'll tell you what we'll do. Twerk a tree or two. If we twerk a tree or two, it get we hide. So that's not too bad. He might not be able to see us then. So here I've got this flaming flame. So I should be able to put onto this flame here. Oh yeah, he's shooting at me. <laughs> uh huh. Was he not good enough? The tree is there, so I can't hide very well. Let's see if I can put this down anyway. I'm going to get hit again and hopefully we won't die in the process. Maybe I can do it like this. And then put the cauldron here. Oops, that's the wrong tool. So now with a bit of luck we can put the leather and the bark in and it's working great. So we'll get some tanned leather. Right, while that's going on, let's just sort this guy out. Because he's right annoying. Oops, can't go that way. I can't go that way either. I'll stop and oh the tree's blocking me. Oops, the zombie pigment there. Don't want him. I don't want him being hit, so let's get out of the way. Right, got him. How much did that do for my XP? Four, not brilliant. Let's put these fires out. We don't need our trees burning down, particularly. <laughs> I said that, they're already burnt down, haven't they? Look at all that damage. Well. We'll actually have to do that. Tell you what, I've got an axe on me. I should have an axe on me, I'll just drop the tree down instead. And you'll see I've got this burnt all my, that's what's happened before anyway, all this stuff got burnt, I'll replace that between episodes, I don't think I need to record that. Anyway, well, there's a bit of excitement for one day, let's put this tappling down here, and I'll have to come back and put another tappling in its place. At some other stage, these have got burnt away, but didn't burn the one stone ones anymore, so that's fine. So, by now, the cauldron should have done its stuff. Let's have a look. And indeed, I've got some. I used five bark and one to get my tanned leather. Fantastic, we're actually making real progress. 
So now what we can do, we can make the belts. So, but I can also complete one quest, and I want to do that as well. The quest I want to complete is the um, diamond spikes. So let's do that one. My inventory is looking a bit horribly full. What I'm also going to do, I'm going to put these into into the oven. How are we doing? 25. Got one more. If I cook these, we'll get some of these breads here. If I put those breads into my right hand, which is probably a good idea actually, off my into my off hand, I can eat. I always forget about the off hand because I've been playing 1710 for quite a while. So let's go back and look at our primal quartz tools. So the lot we can make, we can actually got some shears. I wonder if they'll actually chop the leather up. It will indeed. So I'll take one piece of this. We want some stripes, I think four leather stripes, and that should be enough to make the belt. Right, while I was doing that, I was going to make some. I was going to make, I want to make a Gallagher. So we can do that one. I can make a Gallagher. And that uses um, blocks of quartz. They're just straightforward blocks of quartz. And of course, these core free sticks. So that's pretty good. We've got that tool as well. And that's actually a really good, useful bashing tool. Damage is pretty good. And the, and the durability is pretty good as well. In fact, I actually can now do this with diamonds. I've got enough, I've got enough skills to do with diamonds. I managed to upgrade up those as well. And I think the one I actually should really be using is the quartz clippers. Let's make some of these. I'm not sure if there's a difference between the flint shears and the quartz uh, clippers. Let's just see, because we got four with this, and I think we'll probably get four with this as well. Yes, it doesn't make any difference to start with. So anyway, what we can now do is to make the belt. So we need the, um, what we're trying to make, of course, is the saw from better with mods is this one so we can now make the belt let's do that one belt we can also make the the gears so we need four sticks and i think that's per gear isn't it so i probably need some more wood i think there's three gears so i'll probably need 12. i think it's four plus four so we'll get some sticks out of here as well Take half a stack of six. Am I st oh, okay. I've got already half a stack of six. That's fine. Actually, I'm getting so full. I better get rid of some of this stuff. So I do apologise. I get rid of this before I forget. Cook the little worms I don't need with me. And this one we'll put in the, in the oven. And that'll do for now. There's an enderman over there, isn't he? You can see this from his purple, those little purple bits. Right, so the saw. So we make the gears. We can do it like that actually. In fact, I've already got those gears in the box already made, so I don't need to worry about that. I should actually simply be able to make this. So we just need three ingots of iron. Uh, iron. Not silver. The silver looks a bit like iron, doesn't it? So, one saw. Fantastic. So now what we can do with that saw is we can put it down. We'll put it down here. It's actually nasty, this thing, by the way. If you've not played with these saws before. <coughs> and I also completed leaves and sticks. And I think that's because... Now what we do with this is you put down some planks. Let's put down a plank like that. And you just saw it. So, oh, oh, what happened there? I right-clicked that with some wood and it broke the... No, that's strange. I don't think it should do that. That is weird. Maybe I'll... That's confused me a bit. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. So we need the... Um, what's it called? The rep... I forgot what it's called. It's the handle, but I don't think it's called a handle, is it? Hand crank. The hand crank should work if I put it down. <laughs> Ooh, that breaks pretty easily. What's going wrong there? Do I have to remove the the millstone? Probably have to remove the millstone. Or move this somewhere else. Let's move this somewhere else. Or do I have to power this some other way? Or do I need an axe? Alright, I'll tell you what we'll do. <coughs> Let's put... I'm going to put this block of 
I could hit asking on. I won't be lazy. I'll just put this back into the hole here that I made. We'll just try it on here. So, of course, this is, this is the gold is now melted on that thing. So, what we're going to do... I need the hand crank again. It doesn't actually seem to do too much damage to the hand crank. It just seems to be... I get all the bits back, so... Let's put the hand crank down. I'm going to do this. I would like to put the hand crank down. Let's put the crank down here. And let's put the saw... Here. Oh yeah, that works. So it does it. It's just that it was too much load being put in between those two. Okay, good. So let's put now plank of wood down here like that, and turn it on. And I think, oh, is that not going to work? Do I need to put a gear into this? <laughs> okay, that's a bit more complicated. Let's see if we can make a gear, an axle. So hemp rope, we need some hemp fibers. Ah, six. Hemp fibers we can get easily enough by grinding hemp. And that gives me eight. Okay, I think I've got a piece of hemp, we can do that. I got two fibers, which is not exactly enough. So put that into here. And you see I've been grinding a few. Uh, zombie pigment, well in fact they've been grinding themselves. So let's have a look. Pickaxe. That's a bit awkward. I'm over here. I haven't got enough space. All right, I'm going to have to do that. Possibly next episode, I think. Because I wanted to complete another quest. And the one I wanted to complete was the gold spikes. If I can see them from extra with... Random, oh, is it? Oh, no, it should be extra utilities. Here we go. So you can actually shift in, and you can actually use damaged ones as well. So we'll take that, and that'll complete another quest. Now I've got to get rid of some stuff in me because I've just got too much stuff, and I, I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> That's full. That's not too bad, but it's getting a bit full. Let's just fill it up a bit more with some bits and pieces like these because they're actually the tools that belong to that five and oh, that's finished cooking so i should got some more now i've got my six and we can put into that these valus melons and you can check that i'll check the requirements on that one so you get two plus a half a saturation one and a half plus half a saturation on this you get two and a half plus three saturation so a lot better this valus bread let's move those out of the way and let's see what we've got for quests then. So I've completed golden spikes and I get a loot chest. Let's claim that. Done. I've completed better with mod saw. One loot chest, which we'll claim that one as well. Done. And I've completed this one, leaves and sticks. Because of that one, so we get to choice reward. Well, <laughs> I think there's not much choice as to which one we're going to pick there done and we also completed this one because i've got blaze powders from those uh, uh juggernauts quite quite often and the leather scraps we've been dealing with and bone meal i got by sieving um i think it's dust i'll just double check what we did for the for bone meal because i've forgotten Let's look at the recipes for that one. Oops, I have to get out of room for, forget to do that. I have to click out, outside it so it's not in the box and then I can press R. So the one I was doing was um, sieving. So that's sieving this one. So I was sieving dust with a string mesh. And that's the only thing you can use string mesh. Now you eventually get 20% drop. I see now I get the requirements in here for two. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's what I was problem with the soul sand. So if we actually looked at the soul sand, or the petals. Petal. <laughs> and I still spelt that wrong. So these ones say mystical white petals. One, okay, one T. So you can get that by sieving. So you can sieve 
uh, Sol Sands, and here it's got two mining and four building to get those. But these have got it's not the Britannia stuff's gone from the last update. It was showing me a higher requirement than that, and I'm sure it was. That's interesting. I wonder if that's been accidentally removed. So let's have a look at what we've got in these uh, loot chests. What's this one? Bandages and medikits, basic. Okay, I think there's a, I think those are actually quite useful. I'll have to put those somewhere else. So, <laughs> oh, look, I've got a melon. And medikit. Let's open the next one up. Oh, try clicking in the right place. Wooden torch arrows, 120. Well, I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty good actually, because we haven't got any. We can make a bow now, and actually use the bow. Because before I couldn't make, I didn't make the bow because I couldn't make an arrow. Ah, so the last one, an experience pie. Collect nearby experience or some recently. Oh, brilliant! Now, can we actually use this thing? Okay, now we don't have a place to put that. Where I'm going to put the, where I'm going to put the rest of the stuff when I've finished. I've got a little bit offset here. When mobs come along, they actually come into here and they get caught in these spikes, as you can see. So obviously, when I start to do a um, a mob farm, this experience orb is going to be really good, because what I wanted to do, let's put this fire out by the way, and these don't grow in the nether. That I figured out. Get back inside. A little concentration as I get through the spikes. Sometimes it catches me, and it then ends up breaking my armor, which isn't so great. <laughs> so we've made the saw today, and I think I've run out of time. I'm just doing a quick calculation here. Not quite. I've done through the three tips, so I've got to figure. I think I'll probably need to make a gearbox to get this to run actually, and I think I need a gearbox. And I'll have to chop it up. Let's make a gearbox if we can. I suspect the gearbox I can't make either. Because um, that's going to need hemp as well, I think. Um, gear. I can make a wooden gearbox. Redstone latch. Actually, we can do this, no problem. Let's do that. So, gold nuggets I've got. Wood we've got, gears we haven't got any more of, but they're actually pretty cheap. Let's have a look, gears. I don't want that one, I want the other recipe. Let's go back to this one and then pick, <laughs> missed it. Let's go back again. See this swapping over that one. That will give me four gears, that's fine. So the gearbox we should be able to now do, if we can make this one, which I've missed, forgot the redstone. I didn't actually get, find much redstone, but then it wasn't sieving for redstone. I think you can sieve for redstone as well. One of those. Now we should be able to make the gearbox. Fantastic. And then I should be able to grind. Oh, that's my crank and crank. Let's put this back again here. Let's put the hemp inside. Let's got it in the right place. Let's just grind this up. Four, I think. Uh, five. There we go. We should have is that three or eight. Oh, it's three. Okay, that's. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that just then. It's hard to see some. It's three or eight. I need six of these. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do that between episodes. I'll sit and do that one. Now the other reason I needed the living wood for. Um. Let's have a look at, back at the quests again. That one we did. Ah, yes, yeah, so we've got. So that opens up axle, of course, is one nice one. And of course, it makes gears. Eight wooden gears. We can do that, no problem whatsoever. Let's do that. Two. 
too. All right, so I can do it, but I haven't actually got enough bits and pieces with me. We do I need some more planks. Let's do it like that and sticks. I've got plenty of sticks. Try again. Click right click this to start. So that will give me four, six, eight. That's all I need to do. We should the quest should automatically detect, which it has done. So let's go and get the leak chest from there. Claim that one done. Slime balls, axles, gearbox, two gearboxes. Ah, okay, well, I've done one, so I just need to make a second one, don't I? So I'll take those plus one redstone. In fact, gearboxes are always useful because you need you need those anyway for all sorts of bits and pieces, and they break fairly easily too, so you have to repair them. Gearbox. That should give us that quest as well, which it has done. So let's go and do that quest. Also, quest sorted out today. Let's claim that one done. So that's now done. Oh, I haven't claimed this one, have I? For some reason, not done. So now I've got three more loot. Oh, four more loot chests open. Let's have a look. Fertile potion causes plants to grow. Fantastic. Okay. Some more compressed diamond hammers, rare. That's uh, quite impressive. What have we got here? Water buckets, actual additions. Okay. And the last one. Oh, a set of iron armor. Brilliant. Oh, actually, I can put some of this iron armor on straight away. Because <laughs> iron armor is a bit stronger than what I've got at the moment. Maybe I can still have it a bit longer for a change. Where have the boots gone to? And I saw them. Oh, there they are. Oh, in the buckets of water. Let's put some stuff just quickly away oh, let's take those off so there, well, there we are for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it I'm going to have to go and pick up some more bits and pieces I see floating behind me anyway, until next time bye for now